Wagner chief offered to give Russian troop locations to Ukraine. The head of the Wagner mercenary forces offered to help Ukraine by giving up Russian troop locations if Kyiv withdraw its forces from Bakhmut, leaked Pentagon documents suggest. Yevgeny Prigozhin in January said he would tell the intelligence service the positions of Vladimir Putin's soldiers, the Washington Post reported, citing the leaked Pentagon papers. Ukraine rejected the offer amid distrust of Prigozhin. Prigozhin's offer was made via his contacts in Ukraine's intelligence service, according to the reported documents. The leaks did not detail which Russian positions the Wagner chief was offering to disclose to Ukraine. According to one document, Prigozhin told a Ukrainian intelligence officer that the Russian military was struggling with ammunition supplies. He advised Ukrainian forces to push forward with an assault on the border of Crimea, which Russia has illegally annexed while Russian troop morale was low. The private military organization's leader has also reached out to the Ukrainian intelligence directorate, known as HUR. Several times during the course of the war, the Washington Post report said, citing two Ukrainian officials. One document based on SIGINT, or intercepted communications, states that Ukraine's military intelligence chief, Kyrylo Budanov, expected the Russians to use details of Prigozhin's secret talks with the HUR and his meetings with their officers in Africa to make him appear to be a Ukrainian agent. It doesn't specify whether Budanov suspects Moscow may already know that Prigozhin is talking to HUR officers. In an audio message posted by his press service on Telegram, Yevgeny Prigozhin called the allegations nonsense and suggested that unnamed residents of Moscow's Rublyovka suburb, home to many of the business and political elite, were orchestrating an attack on him. Prigozhin also denied having met Kyrylo Budanov, head of Ukrainian military intelligence in an unnamed African country, saying he had not been in the continent since the start of the Ukraine conflict and portraying the idea of a phone call with him as laughable.